Welcome to a tutorial on how to make a Linux screencast. I'm running Ubuntu 12.04 64-bit right now. It's a fresh installation. I just ran sudo apt-get update and upgrade, so those run uh, and don't find anything new. What I'm going to do is install two packages called GTK Record My Desktop and DVD. So I'm going to clear the screen here and do sudo apt git install gtk record my desktop that's the first package, that's the screen recorder and then dvd so together these two packages will allow me to first record the uh, screencast to a file called ogv extension and then dvd will allow me to translate it to a high resolution avi I could upload the OGV file directly to YouTube, but it wouldn't be as high quality. So that's the purpose in transcoding it to AVI. All right, so once these are finished here, uh, we have two new applications. The first, if we open up our dashboard, is record my desktop. And for convenience, I'm just gonna paste that to my, my launch, launcher. That's not necessary, but just for convenience. And I'm gonna do the same for DVD. So now these two applications will always be there. Uh, yes. All right, so now in Record My Desktop, I'm gonna get rid of that for a bit. We're gonna look at the advanced settings. Under Performance, we want to have about 15 frames per second, no compression, and full shots every frame. This is important so that the uh, video quality remains high. And then Sound and Miscellaneous will just leave alone. Uh, they seem to be working pretty well in Ubuntu these days. So these are the, the two settings we need. Zero compression, full shots every frame, 15 frames per second is a setting. And we're going to just keep video quality high, song quality high. Now, once we have all that set, we could do two things. The first is record, and that'll just do a full screen uh, recording of the entire session. So we'll, we'll give a quick example of that. So here's the it just disappears and this turns into a red square for recording. And then when we're done, let's say we'll, we'll do something exciting here, like open up a terminal, and then we're going to re stop recording that. And then what it's doing is it's encoding that to an OGV file. Now the default installation uh, of that is just going to place it into our home directory. So here you'll see the OGV file just appeared. Alright, so we'll close that for now. Quit. And that red dot went away. So now we've got our OGV file. We could play this with Movie Player and it shows uh, what happened during the screen record. You can see it playing back here. And we could upload that to YouTube, but I want a higher quality version of it. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up DVD and we're going to make a new DivX MPEG-4 file. And we're just going to drag that video into DVD. And then we're going to go to the Properties. And under Advanced, we're going to select the final size of 1920 by 1080. So this will give us the highest resolution that YouTube supports. We're going to keep the aspect ratio 4 to 3. We'll say OK here. And then we'll do Forward. This is going to make a new folder called Movie, which doesn't currently exist. That's fine. And then we're not going to shut down the computer. We're just going to keep going. So now this is the screen that uh, is showing us the progress of the, the transcoding from OGV to uh, AVI. So it took about 18 seconds. Obviously, the longer the original file, the longer the transcoding is going to take. And we're going to quit from that. Yes. Alright, so now I've got a new folder here called Movie. So in that, that's our movie. I'm just going to place it back in the parent directory. I'll we'll get rid of the original there. So now we've got movie.avi. So the name didn't stay the same. But we'll play this. Looks to be about the same. So that's, that's fine. And then we're going to open up YouTube and upload it. I'll just fire up Firefox here. Go to YouTube. Oop, 
And we'll have to sign in. Alright, now we'll go to the upload button. And we're going to select that AVI file. So in our home directory, we're just going to take this, the AVI. That should be very fast. Call it my first video. And I always like to categorize it as education. We'll make it public and we'll Creative Commons. Alright, so now we're done. We'll go look at it. Initially here, the, the screen quality won't be as high uh, until it gets done fully transcoding it, but YouTube takes a little while to render it. Alright, so now we're going to go back, we're done with that, and we're going to show one more thing, which is how to record just a, a partial screen. So let's say I wanted to only look at this window during my screen casting. I'm going to go back to record my desktop, and this time instead of hitting record, I'm going to say select, I'm not going to select that window because that doesn't seem to work very well but I can just drag and drop holding down the left mouse key highlighting the window I'm interested in then I'll minimize this and now I can hit record now I'm recording only within this black box here which is bounded so I can do all my normal stuff alright and then I'm done and again, you have to go through the transcoding process, and then eventually that'll end back up here as a new OGV file, which again, you'd have to enter into DVD to transcode to a higher resolution API file.